my talk is, uh, I think, maybe the next step after you pick the topic. And this is something that I learned from my experience, which is not very broad, but still um, I have some of it. So I think it's very important to be able to uh, dis uh, distilling your message uh, in, in the talk. So let me, let me explain. So let's say I want to explain to you about a uh, vector. And um, please uh, uh, excuse my uh, very simple example. So this code is actually coming from uh, a website explaining about std vector. But as you can see, this code is not fitting for the slide. You, you can't uh, give a talk about vector filling the slide like that. So for example, the creation of the vector, we could basically use initialization list. The part of printing, you could use a print function and have a comment explain your intention. Here, for the pushback, you can do the same. Notice the comment ag again. And for the pop-up uh, back, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm trying to say, in short, is that Visualization is very important when you try to express an idea on a presentation. Another example, let's say I want to explain the vector more deeply. I could use images. I could also show just with a simple image what happens when I add an element. So please excuse my very, very simple and uh, uh, not, not uh, well uh, designed photos, but I hope you get the idea here. So I want to talk about data visualization. Um, generally in our world, people don't have a lot of, um, a lot of time to capture a lot of uh, complex ideas. And, but when they do come to your talk, that means that they're actually very anxious to learn. So I think giving them good uh, explanation Visual, uh, visualized explanations would be very helpful and help them get more connected with the ideas they're trying to express. So here on the right, you can see it's a meta picture. It's uh, a picture talks about uh, good visualization. And this is actually coming from a very cool book called uh, Information is Beautiful. So there's two of them uh, as far as I uh, know, and I would highly recommend them. I'm not connected to the author in any way, but those are really awesome books. Uh, one is called Information is Beautiful. The second is Knowledge is Beautiful. And in general, they talk about how do you express information in a visual way. So I think what I'm trying to say is create an experience for your audience. Also communicate with them. And most important, care about your audience. You want to have them enjoy your talk. So to summarize, I would say that uh, creating a good talk will include having a good structure, use visualization and minimization in your talk. Get some perspectives, uh, have other people uh, that, known, uh, that know this topic, uh, see your talk, give you feedback, and even just, um, you know, have, have more broad uh, perspective of the topics that you have. Decide what are the takeaways that you want your audience to, to take from your talk. And of course, what Tina have said, and I think is very important, present your own views. The talk would not be great unless you put what you feel that is important and what you want to express. And also, just make sure you bring all the equipment you need. <laughs> this is very important because it's never fun um, to find out too late. But to summarize, a good talk is about what you bring. Thank you. And of course, I just want to say, if you want to reach out, I, I will be happy to help with talks and presentations. Thank you. Thank you, Mbola. That was very good, very nice. Um